for a great oatmeal cookie, you gotta have good flavoring and also really good uh, raw oats. So here my flavoring will be a blend of cardamom, cinnamon, and nutmeg. And here is the oatmeal that I use. It's a sprouted raw oats. I got these at Costco. These are Farmer We Know. That's the brand name, One Degree Organic. And definitely you need to have excellent flavoring, real vanilla, and I always love my go-to butternut flavoring. Brown butter and brown sugar. We're going to beat it to light and fluffy. I'm going to add our salt. Nice and fluffy. Now add in your egg. And I'm going to add in my spices as well. So this is a blend of cinnamon, nutmeg, and cardamom. Now we add in our flavoring, vanilla, and butternut. I also like to add in my baking soda and baking powder. Here is our secret ingredient. It's coconut for this oatmeal raisin cookie. You have to try it and you'll believe it. Coconut. Roll oats. Raisin. And flour is last. You don't want to overmix, so once it goes in, you want to stop and mix the rest by hand. And then finish mixing it by hand. Okay, make sure all your butter is mixed well in with the flour and the oatmeal. Look at this. Nice batter. Now we're going to scoop. You can scoop any size you like, but I like to uh, do a scoop and a half. Put it right there on top. Looks great. Now if you have time, put this in the fridge so the flour can hydrate. Uh, overnight will be great. But if you don't have time, let it sit for at least a good half an hour before you bake it. Your texture will be really good. So take this extra step here to let your flour hydrate so all the flavor will be very flavorful in your cookie. Okay, refrigerate it for 20 minutes, and I'm going to bake. We're going to do 7 minutes, and then we're going to rotate. Preheated oven at 350 degrees. 7 minutes up. Look at these cookies. Beautiful. I'm going to rotate.
We're going to do six minutes. Whoa, look at that. This is six minutes later. Perfect timing. Bake at 350. Since these are smaller, we'll rotate them in six minutes. Six minutes. Check these cookies. Oh, they look good. See, they're smaller. They ground much faster. So I'm going to do four minutes. All right. Second time around, it's going to be four minutes. Let's check on our cookie. Look at that. Beautiful. You can see these are the giant one, six of them, and these are smaller one. So we let it cool and we check. Close up of the small one. Still close up of the big one. Look at how good they look. All right, my sister, I want you to try this cookie and see if you can guess the secret ingredient. Okay. We all know what that is, right, uh -oh. guys? Uh oh Let's see. Go ahead. Let's see. Oh, it's nice and hot. Love yeah, it. Just Thanks. came out of the oven. Love it. Let me turn this around so you can see it, too. Mm. Close up. Look at that. That look good. Let's see if I can turn this around. I love how chewy it is. Crunchy edge, chewy on the inside. Crispy edges mm -hmm. and chewy inside, right? Mm -hmm. That's what I was mm -hmm. going for. Mm -hmm. How's the flavor? Mm. It's, you know I don't like a lot of sugar. Yeah. This is awesome. Not a lot of sugar. Not too but, sweet, right? Nope, but it's perfect. Let me try. Mmm. What's that the secret ingredient? That is a really good it? cookie. I don't know. Let's make it chewy. Isn't that the, the, the most chewiest oatmeal raisin cookie yeah, you ever tasted? I love it. Right? With no preservatives. I love it. Yeah. And it's the most chewiest. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had a oatmeal cookie that chewy? No. With crispy edges? Well, I don't. I can't really speak for anybody else, but that's my favorite <laughs> cookie. <laughs> <laughs> well, the secret ingredient is, you guys know, it's coconut. Oh. You can't even taste the coconut, guys. Mm. So you want chewy oatmeal cookie? That's the secret ingredient. Mm. And of course, great flavor. You know, we had a blend of nutmeg, condiment, and cinnamon. That is really a good cookie. It is scrumptious. Yeah, look at the big one. All right, guys. Bon appetit. See you in the next video.